is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. I hope you'll stick around. I hope you'll engage and support the stream if you can. Because, yeah, Signalis right now is almost a dead playthrough. People are not sticking around to watch it. People are not really engaging, talking with me, nor supporting the streams. That's unfortunate. You know, if you are here for the Level 1 podcast and you enjoy this, if you could engage in support with me this morning, like I said, most of this podcast will be q and I would really appreciate that. It really sucks having a first stream knowing that a lot of people are going to disengage as soon as I boot up the game. You know what I mean? So You're e-begging again. Again, my final consecutive streaming day of the week. So if you guys could support today's streams, I would really appreciate it. Yes, admittedly, this week has been a slow week. We had two days now in a row where the support on the streams is not that great, except for gifted memberships, which is absolutely outstanding. That's why we actually hit our Tier 1 members goal for the month, and we're doing that Super Bowl event in February no matter what. We've locked in. Thank you for that. But the normal support that I would get, things like Super Chats, tips, have been slower this week. So it'd be great if we could have a strong final day of the week, if possible. It's okay if we don't. It's not going to, again, it's not the end of the world, but it would be great to have a nice final strong day before I go on my break tomorrow. All right? You even bake for money. <laughs> Thank you guys for chilling with me here today. Good attendance on the podcast today, by the way. If you enjoyed the Level 1 podcast and you want to support it, there's many ways you can. Simply dropping a like on this stream adds engagement, lets people know that I'm here live on stream, and adds it to the algorithm. Please do so. It would help tremendously. Now, aside of that, going above and beyond, super chats, super stickers, memberships, gifted memberships, tips, all greatly appreciated. Today is my final consecutive streaming day of the week. I'd really like to have a solid streaming day today simply because the last couple of days have been kind of rough and it would be great to end on a high note. So if you could, please contribute, support the stream. There's a reason why there's no pro paid product placements, why there's no shilled games, why I'm not playing these never heard of games before as paid streams. I could do that. I get those offers all the time and I always turn them down or ignore them because I don't want to do that. I want to make meaningful content for you guys. So it's your crowdfunding. It's your support on a daily basis that keeps me going this way. Thanks for allowing me to do that and let's keep it going. Okay. Phil has the pignosis. He mind and brainwashes his viewers into contributing. So I got a dollar tip. Can you consider consolidating uploads? You, when subbed to your channel, you get six minimum notifications a day, sometimes more to the point where it's hogging up notifications like it used to in the past. Limit then daily rant. Limit then daily rant to just a few times a week. What does that even mean? Maybe limit then daily rant to just a few times a week. What? What you're saying is you think I upload too much. All right, let's 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 actually take a look at what I upload in a day, okay? Level 1 Podcast. It's a daily podcast, covers different topics every day. Love doing it, not stopping that. Gameplay. Every day I upload five gameplay videos. Three for the morning, two for the late, late stream. If I actually have uh, longer sessions or longer videos, usually it's two for the morning, two for the night stream, correct? And then there's a daily wrap. The daily wrap is the way that I tell you everything that happened during the day. If you missed out on those videos... It's a way to recap it or whatever, all right? And uh, I know what's coming tomorrow. Now, outside of that, I started uploading YouTube shorts, right? People wanted these. This is something that said, people said, everyone's doing. Everyone does YouTube shorts. You got to do them too. It's interesting. It's necessary. And by the way, the shorts are doing well. The shorts, view-wise, do better than my videos. Just being honest, they do. And I think that's just the nature of the beast is you upload something fast, more people are going to watch it than a video that's an hour long of gameplay. Look, Phil is just a full-on, this is his business. It's just begging and being greedy. I understand what you're saying. You're like, oh, there's a lot of uploads in one day. Can you cut back? All right? Well, here's the thing. I'm not like all the other YouTubers out there that do one video a day. I actually work. Okay? I do. I put out way more content than the vast majority of YouTubers out there. All right? I just do. Why? Because, number one, I'm a real gamer. I'm not here to just put out an edited piece of content one a day and say, oh, I'm done. I'm not a news story guy. Oh, there's two news stories today. Two videos. I'm done. I'm someone who has passion for what he does. If you can't tell, when I play these games, I have a lot of fun. I want to make progress in the games. I am a Let's Player while I am working to diversify myself to do other stuff. A Let's Player cannot put out one video a day. It's not going to happen. All right? One video a day, I'll make no progress in anything. We'll never finish any games. 
if I was a ginormous Let's Player who had millions of views and a ginormous viewer base, then I could do one video a day. I'm not. I never was, by the way. And by the way, back in the day when I was super popular, I still uploaded as much as I do because I love what I do. I actually care. This is not a paycheck for me. This is a passion. All right? Therefore, no, I'm not going to stop playing games and upload less. That's ridiculous. You have the means to stop seeing that many notifications in your inbox. You do. You have the ability when you subscribe to a channel to say what you do and don't want to see. So why are you yelling at me? Because I'm prolific. Instead, learn how to use YouTube. How about that? After 15 years, maybe I'm tired of hearing that people don't want to learn how to use fucking YouTube. You learn it, not me. Jesus. Oh my God, he's drinking salt. Now, can you imagine if I had a child, right? How about a child, right? How could they ever live growing up? Being hard, because you know the moment I have that kid, people would be trying to harass that, find out information about them, try to, you know, God forbid they grow up, they're going to school. Oh, let's find the school they go to. Let's do this, let's do that. Like, it's insane, but they would. They would do it. If they're crazy enough to try to find out the place where I sent my car for car repair, if they're crazy enough to try to figure out the cost of the appliances in my home, right? If they're calling my electric company to turn off my electricity, if they're impersonating me, a million places to try to do fucked up stuff and ruin my life financially, I'm pretty sure that harassing my kid would not be above that. All right? So, you know, I'm in a situation where, no, I don't really think that it would be ever safe to have a child. I'm just being honest. With the level of harassment that I get online, I really don't think <clears throat> that's ever going to work. Okay? And I'm sorry, a lot of people are, oh, that's unfair, that's ridiculous, that's unreasonable. No, I think it is. I think it is. I think that's my life. That's, that's sadly what I have to live with for the rest of my life. I know that sounds scary because it is, but at the same time, at the very least, no one's ever done something in person. You know what I'm saying? No one's ever come to my house. No one's ever done something really fucked up in that regard. So at least I have that modicum if I have a real life where I don't have that connection with crazy people on the internet. Can you imagine having a child and now because they're my kid, all they get is online harassment because they're my kid. Like, it'd be the most fucked up life. I'm not doing that. I refuse. Oh, woe is me. I'm the victim complex guy. An endless victim. You know what I mean? Wait a minute. What if I start every playthrough completely naked in a hot tub? Would that bring a viewer? <laughs> what if it was just me? What if I, the scene from Witcher 3? Oh my god, I've done it. Eureka. Every playthrough, I will be in a hot tub. Like, like, Ger Gerald, or Gerald in Witcher 3. I will be that, reenact that scene. With the steam coming out of the water and only my balls under the water. And everything else will be fully exposed. And then I'll get out of the hot tub. And I'll begin the playthrough just like that. What do you think? Will that bring in the views? Uh. <laughs> oh my god. We are at 464 members as of this morning. I knew it. I told you guys there was a Christmas Eve member bomb. We hit it. We're at 464 members. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to do everyone a solid. You ready? We already hit the tier one members goal. That's already set in stone. I'm going to do everyone a solid. All right. Forget this. We're never going to fucking hit this. That's impossible. Okay. Let's do this. Okay? Let's do that. That's even less than it was. Because remember, it was at 650. So we were at 550. It was 100. I just reduced it even more. All right? Let's do that. Let's make it at least more reasonable. And by the way, that should be it for member bombs. There were no other member bombs between Christmas Eve and the end of December. Okay? So this should be very reasonable to hit. If we get people rallying and we get people supporting. All right? So if we hit 525 members by the end of this month, I will do a special react event. We'll start talking about what like documentaries or events you'd like to see me react to, you'll do it, there'll be a poll for it and everything to determine it, and we'll actually schedule it probably for late February, okay? <clears throat> so that's way more fucking reasonable right there. I mean, there's no way we're gonna get 650. That's insanity, okay? <clears throat> okay. Contributions come in naturally. I don't have to sit here and constantly be saying, support me, support me, support me, support me, support me, support me. Watching Achieving says, thank you for watch reading my comment the other day. I feel you overreacted. I don't own a business, but I've been watching you. I don't know what you're talking about. Long enough, you haven't made the best financial decisions. No malice. I don't want another bankruptcy to happen. You have a family. What are you talking about? What does this have to do with this game? What does it have to do with this stream? And what does this have to do with your business? Like, mind your own goddamn business. We want to talk about derailing and being disrespectful to a streamer. You're doing it right now. What the hell does that have to do with anything? What are you even talking about? I don't know who you are. Oh my God, he's drinking gin. You can't overdose of gin. Some fucking people. Anyway, let's save again.
Exactly. I don't know what he's talking about, HWT. You tell me. How, like, I'm supposed to fucking remember some nonsense from the other day. <clears throat> There's an ending or a secret ending that implies it isn't a dream or fake, arguably. There was a decent amount that I missed. What? One ending she'll remember you, but you didn't get it because you didn't kill enough enemies. You had to kill more enemies? Why? It's survival horror. Survival. Why would I kill more enemies if I didn't have to? <laughs> what? You need to not kill many enemies and finish it quickly for the best ending. I mean, I finished it as quickly as I could. I almost never got stuck, right? Whatever. Anyway, you know what? It, it was a decent game, but it's one of those games, like, I get the feeling if you had a guide and you knew exactly how to do it, or you know what I mean, it's just a better game then. And I don't like that. Like, for an honest first-time playthrough, it was all right. But the fact that it doesn't feel like, it feels like I missed stuff or, you know what I mean? It's not fulfilling. Those kind of games that are so cryptic, you absolutely need to have a guide and know everything to get to enjoy it fully. I don't know. That's kind of annoying in my opinion. But I, I liked it overall. I'm not in love with it. It's a Game Pass game. Check it out on Game Pass if you like classic survival horror. But man, that game probably is much better with a guide, right? All right, guys. Anyway, thank you. Hope you enjoyed the playthrough. And uh, I'm glad I got it done so we can move on to other stuff. Because sadly, I hate to say it, my audience wasn't really liking it. They wanted me to move on to other stuff. So I'm glad that it's over. My favorite part, mobile games. Let's bust out our mobile phones, and let's get ready to play mobile games. There's still this back here, and it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money blatantly milking for money it's a money pit it's gone just gone like that in an instant fucking gone i just care about money that i just can't help it by ebay contributions are mandatory but i need your help i am appealing directly to you no decency no respect no common sense no fucking maturity is the guy who just doesn't get reality <laughs>